Hello and welcome, this is STR Inc. and today I'm playing Armored Core 6 Fires Rubicon, just getting it started. Let's go ahead and hop in. Hopefully I've got all the settings dialed in just right. Um, we'll do just a little bit brighter and we'll take it down if we need to. Okay, and let's see if we can turn this off. I assume that I don't need to do this, but just in case. I think I put it in offline mode. Oh, pilot name. I'll do that. Okay, here we go. We're close to Rubicon. Wake the dog up. Handler Walter verified. Activating cerebral coral control device. Augmented human C4621 has awakened. Time to get to work, 621. I'm powering down your entry capsule on my signal. This looks so good. Main system activating combat mode. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, cool. Let's see, can we fly forever? Oh, I see a little gauge at the bottom now. Probably want to go down a little bit. I'm assuming that there's fall damage in this too. We have a limited amount of ammo as well. L and circle boost movement. Okay. I'm just gonna lay it back down softly. See now, how do I turn boost off? Oh, I guess I just have to let go of the control stick for that. Hmm. Okay. Some actions consume energy and are disabled while energy is depleted. Plenches rapidly when grounded. Okie dokie. Good to know. Wow, the animation is so smooth. It's kind of crazy. Reticle automatically targets on-screen enemies. When there are multiple enemies, the enemy closest to the center screen will be prioritized. Move the camera to change priority target. Okay. Wow, we got enemies already. Okay. This is really easy, guys. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing what we get into here. Whoa! Cool, if you press in the left stick, it 
did this crazy thing. Target assist keeps your AC oriented towards the target. When enabled, your AC will automatically lock its orientation toward enemies as you approach them. You can still use the camera to change targets while in target assist mode. Okay, so I can turn it on and off with the right stick. Oh, did that fall? Missile launcher equipped to the right shoulder of the AC is capable of multi-lock, which allows you to attack multiple enemies simultaneously, holding down the input for that weapon. Hold R1, RSW, multi-lock attack. Okay. Well, let's see. How do I get back up there? Okay. Makes sense. Uh oh. Am I dead already? Probably not. Oh, I see the health bar on the enemy too. Okay. I think this will take a little while to get used to, but it's uh, coming together overall. Looks like I might already be down to half health. Use repair kits to repair your AC and recover AP, which are called armor points. Repair kits can be used at three times for mission, but cannot be used in rapid succession. All right. Your AC is taking damage. Patch it up. All right. Two repair kits remaining. See the contaminated city down there. Ah! That's where you're landing. Fall. Oh no! Oh no! Access the catapult. Save me. Um. Uh, okay. Here we go. Let's see. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have here now. Oh, uh -huh. going for a ride. Walter guy is a little gruff. Okay, quick boost lets you instantly accelerate in any direction, helping you to avoid attacks or swiftly close in on enemies. So L and square. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, so I got the boost on. Use assault boost to move rapidly in the direction that the camera is facing or to rapidly approach targets. Assault boost and during boost cancel assault boost. Okay. That was what I was playing with earlier. Oh. Oh. Didn't time that quite right. Let's do a normal shot on him. Okay, and let's see, looks like we have three different places to go here. Hmm, almost looks like I had boosters that helped me have a soft landing. This guy's pretty nimble overall. Okay, we got 600 meters. Oh, missed them.
Nice. Oh, where's this other one at? Oh, I did not boost it properly. Oh! <laughs> Alright, nice. Yeah, this is gonna take some getting used to. Okay, let's see what's up here. License code extracted from an AC wreck in the contaminated city. This one is Thomas Kirk. Contains the pilot's registration data. RB18 for its registration number. Call sign Thomas Kirk. Rank 26 slash E. Affiliation independent. License expired. This one's already expired. Keep looking. All right. Let's see. Where is our other quest marker at? Huh. I don't see it now. I think it's over here to the left, though. There we go. What? Oh shoot. We got Get out of there. You can handle them. That's the PCA's planet side force. Keep a low profile. We don't want them breathing down our necks. Hmm. All right. Okay. kind of float over here enjoying the boosters they're very fluid license code g7 hakra let's see registration rb29 g7 hakra 22d balam industries affiliation license expires in 12 hours Go see about this other place over here. Oh, they are fighting me. Hit that one. <laughs> kind of just about mashing at this point. If I'm being perfectly honest. <laughs> okay, well, I targeted a few of them, but I don't think I landed any. Let's try again. Slowly getting the hang of that maneuver. Cool. Let's see about this license. Monkey Gordo. RB37 independent. Expires in 15 days. It's still valid, but the pilot's rank is no good. We can't use this. I've picked up one more wreck, 621. Transmitting marker. Go and check it out. Okay. Oh. Gonna have to bunny hop up there, I suppose. Okay. While standing on a vertical catapult, perform a jump to quickly reach high up places. While on catapult, press X to you vertical launch. I think there's at least one more enemy around here somewhere. This guy that fell down. Is he still here? 
Hmm, maybe not. Okay. Let's blast off again. Oh, nice. This is recently deceased to me. And you hit a checkpoint. Booster. It's another vertical thing out here somewhere. AP at 50%. Ooh, boy. No repair kits remaining. I don't know how effective this is. AP at 50%. Try using cover a little bit, I suppose. I hit the wrong trigger button and did not get the hit. <laughs> oh, this is going to be the end of me, I think. Oh, no. Ouchie. Hopefully the checkpoint will take me uh, there pretty quickly. This is tough already. That's it. Try accessing the rack. Ah. At least it gave me back repair kits too. Okay. Registration number RB23. So we know it's coming. I want to get up a little bit higher and see what I can do. Putting a dent in this guy. Oh, there's the warning sign of the missiles being launched. I saw it. Time to figure out how to take this guy out. Where do you use up on the repair kit, too? Hmm, can't tell if the slash worked. Wow. Man. I have no idea how to take this guy out. Let's try again. That's it. Try 
accessing the wreck. Do you feel like I did a little, little bit better than that time? I wonder if I can stay underneath its bottom part if I can survive better because it won't be able to hit me. That would be really cool. Yeah, this is all about dodging. Oh, if I can get it out under those big guns. That would be great. getting a hit on that or not. Oh, I am getting a hit. Okay, I see him. Now I see the pattern. Just gotta keep that dodge up. There we go. I'm starting to see the UI a little bit better. Did see some complaints about the uh, about the UI being really small, and I gotta agree, it is a little bit small overall. So hopefully they'll make an option or some mods for that to the community. All right, well, I'm starting to get the hang of this. I think. Oh shoot! I say that, and then I got wrecked. <laughs> But I did get the boss down to less than half for the first time, so I think that counts. Uh -huh. Okay, so that was just a note about dodging explosions and successive rounds by getting up in the air. Okay. At least the load times are pretty fast for all these deaths I'm having. That's it. Try accessing. I wonder if I'll get to customize the mech after this match. boost. There we go. Oh, he's going out of bounds. That's not allowed. Now that is not cool. AP at 50%. Okay, I'll look at a heal in. Jeez. Let's 
taking out my focus. I can barely think of things to say. <laughs> Okay, let's see. I guess when it's out of bounds like that, maybe I can still hit it with some range stuff. I'm gonna keep using the cover too, because that seems to be pretty helpful. Guns out. Here we go. Nice. That was tough. License code Raven. Extracted from an AC wreck in a contaminated city. It contains the pilot's registration data. RB23, Raven, rank F. Affiliation independent expires in three days. Raven. That's your new name here on Rubicon. Okay. All right, paid in 170,000. Base pay are the same. Expense at 71,000. Repair and ammunition cost, and my income overall is 98,400. Cora, a sublime substance. Discovered on Rubicon, a planet on the frontier of developed space. For a time, Cora was a revolutionary energy resource and data conduit. Poised to transform human society by leaps and bounds. They called it the Fires of Ibis. A storm of flame that tore through the stars, leaving lethal contamination in its wake. Coral, the kindling, was thought to have been utterly consumed, forever lost. However, on Rubicon, the embers continued to burn. Humanity would inevitably return to stoke the fire. Registration number RB23. Call sign Raven. Authentication complete. Removing MIA status. Restoring access privileges. This is All Might, the mercenary support system. Welcome back, Raven. Looks like you passed the authentication. Raven. That's who you are now, here on Rubicon. I've picked up some work for you already. Take a look, 621. This notification follows restoral of access privileges. All Mind provides a combat training simulator to support its mercenaries. Your license was in a suspended state. Perhaps you may need a refresher. As an added incentive, completion of the exercises will be rewarded with AC parts. You stand to benefit regardless. Hmm, sorty. Let's see. AC design, cool. 
Oh, neat. Oh, nice. There's my uh, pre-order bonus at Tinderfoot. HDO12 Melander CD. I'm not sure if that was part of it too. Maybe it was. BDO12 Melander. ARO12. Well, GO12, so the legs and stuff, I suppose. Okay. Um, sorting on missions or hunter skills using mercenary support simulators. Change AC parts. Um, yeah, let's check it out. This mod's AC assembly is using parts you have available at assembly menu. When assembling this AC, ensure that your build keeps within the maximum weight and energy load parameters. Okay. Um, so, let's see. I wonder if this is where I can select that pre-order thing. Um, Tender foot. Um, maybe it's in here. Save and load AC assemblies and cosmetic settings from the AC data menu. In order to load AC data, you must currently own all parts and other elements, including assembly. If online, you can upload AC assemblies. Okay, so this is like, I guess, like a pre built thing. Um, okay, so let's see. 90, 80. 9690, 1164. Oh, so it has um, a decent bit of improvements overall. Oh, hi, wizard. I just saw your messages. Good to see you. Um, doing well. Just decided to start playing Armored Core 6. That's kind of waiting about streaming until um, this came out. And uh, excited to be back on Twitch for a little bit. So, let's see. I'm gonna, I think, check out this G3 Raven because it does have the higher stats, and I can definitely use all the help that I can get because um, it's getting busy. So let me go in here. Actually, we've got this base one, so let's just go ahead and load this up and see if it'll work. Okay, and I assume. Oh, there it is in the background. Okay, so it's ready to go right away, and. Um, let's go in and look at what kind of weaponry we have. So we have this RFO24 Turner. And it's just an assault rifle. And we don't have anything else we can, can customize about it. And same thing with the pulse blade, missile launcher. Now we can change the head. So let's see. This one goes up on system recovery, weight and energy load but loses armor stability yeah so why would we i guess we would never want to switch to that because that must have been part of that assembly and yeah same thing here this is nothing but a step down so i guess we'll keep everything as it is oh, no it i mean it does go out go up when you look at this again Maybe I'm misinterpreting this. Um, system recovery lamp goes up by three points, but the other things go down so much. Hmm. I might just stick with what we got in the interest of playing another mission or two in a timely manner. Um, let's see. Yeah, we'll just stick with it for now. Okay. Not too worried about these specific parts. We'll maybe read about them some more later. And I assume we don't have any expansions yet. Okay. So that's kind of it. Edit lock is in place for data. The edit lock must be removed to revert paint. Okay. I guess we'll leave it alone. Same thing for decals. And let's see. Image editor. Combine preset pieces to create original images from the image editor menu. Create images can be applied to ACs as decals or uses emblems. If online you can upload. Okay. Hmm. Is there anything in the downloads already? No. Okay, so this is like a little emblem editor. Um, I won't bother with it for right now. Let's go into our uh, sortie and let's just replay this first mission because I'd like to get a little more practice with it if I can. Um, 
Now why does it show that guy? I wonder if that's the only thing I can use for it. I bet it is. Okay. Let's try this out. I think I'll do one more mission after this and uh, let's see how it goes. Use AC test to test functionality and behavior of your AC. In your test run, open pause menu to alter AC assembly, create enemies, and so on. That little short burst is pretty nice. It already feels like this AC is a little bit faster. So dodging left and right is, looks like it's just as simple as pressing left and right on the stick, but it uses a boost as part of that. Okay. So one thing I'm curious is like, is this ever worth playing without the target lock on? But thinking it's not. Um, let's do something like this. Oh, he dodged me. Oh, it's fast. Does that have infinite health? No, oh, overwhelm me, I guess. Stuck there, kind of. This guy's fast. Whoa. Hmm. I believe his health is that yellow bar up top, right? Is that actually going down any? Oh. Okay. Guess that's it. Alright. Well, uh,. What else we have? Okay, this is the settings. Okay. Okay. I think that's good enough for now. We'll go do another mission. Oh, hey, wizard. I, I saw your thing. It was nice that you uh, checked. That was no problem. I uh, uh, just got really busy in the past few months and unfortunately never got around to finishing uh, Hogwarts Legacy. I'll probably give it another shot here in a bit, but um, we'll see. Alright, missions. Check incoming jobs and sortie on missions from the missions menu. Complete missions to progress the story. Alright, so we can do destroy artillery installations or grid 135 cleanup. Um, so this one's worth 68,000 and reward is, it's in the southern, I guess, Baileus? Baileus? Uh, grid 135, eliminate enemy squads, mop up the Fang M2 squads deployed in grid 135, or we can do the destroy artillery installation. So both of these are chapter one, I notice. And this is destroy targets and get 100,000. Um, destroy all Rubicon, liberation front, artillery installations, extra rewards based on number of enemies destroyed. So let's try out this one. I'm gonna start with the lower one just in case it's a little bit easier. Oh no, it's okay. I'm glad that you asked. This request comes from Schneider of the Archivist Group. The operation will take place in Grid 135, Southern Bellius. Your objective is to destroy an MT squad sent by Dafung, a Balaam company, and a competitor. Grid 135 is a key foothold in Archivist's efforts to conduct a coral survey in the contaminated city. You? The independent mercenaries are the key to maintaining our lead in the Coral Survey race. The Archivist Group looks forward to news of your success. Briefing over, and happy hunting.
Okay. So, let's see. So the AC data would let us go in here and do things. And assembly, we could change things around. And I don't think we have anything we can use anyway. So let's just go ahead and give it a shot. You've got ID. Now you need a rep. Get their attention, 621. Really looking forward to getting upgrades to my assembly as time goes on. Main system, activating combat mode. Commence mission. Wipe out the Dafang MT squad. Okay. We're just gonna boost on through here. Oh, slow me down here. Oh yeah, I feel like this mech is already doing better. Uh oh, I fell. <laughs> Let's see, what does that do to me? Okay, well that, I think that was fair. I think it took off a chunk of my health, but that, that was it. Uh oh. There's this other one, there it is. Okay, so this is something different. Maybe not. I thought it looked like it could have been something a little bit more powerful. All right? Who else is there? Up, oh, something behind me, it looks like. There he is. That is going to run out of boost. Let's get back down on the ground before we fall again. Oh, I miss you too, wizard. It's been fun. And uh, glad to be able to get back on here for a bit. I'll be taking another break for about a week or so after tomorrow. Um, but then I should be able to stream consistently for a few days. Um, I just wanted to get in a few rounds of this today and tomorrow before... Um, had to take another pause, but it should be a much shorter pause this time. <laughs> Alright, let's see. This guy doesn't have a shield, so let's take him out next. I think we'll take out the flying guys, and this guy will be our next one. Okay, nice. Oh, that's a nice, short and sweet mission, actually. Okay. So let's see. Overall, I had got 52,000 on the income after repair and ammunition costs. Okay. notification from all mind the mercenary support system registration number rb23 call sign raven your return to mercenary activities has been acknowledged restoring access to the parts shop
Oh, okay. So now we're going to get to build stuff. Cool. Let's see what's in here. Purchase AC parts by the various corporations and factions from the buy mini. More parts will be available to, for purchase as you progress through the story or meet certain conditions. Okay, so I have 150,000, I'm going to call them credits. Um, I'm not sure if it's coral or what, but we'll call them credits. Um, so there's this Rancetsu RF burst rifle. Um, fill it by boss, consumes kinetic ammunition to deliver on... Reliable defensive potential, both in terms of damage and impact, can be charged by our burst shots. Oh, wow. This handgun, large caliber handgun, Rise of Core Theory introduced a new kind of close quarters combat with it, a reappraisal of handguns, which demonstrates stopping power with tremendous impact potential. And I'm going to say this one's a bazooka, the DFBA 06. Uh, Guess that the pronunciation here is Juan uh, GE. Zuka developed by Defang Core Industries. Rounds explode on impact, guaranteeing heavy impact damage without ricocheting. With more rounds than most competing models, Defang Bazookas deliver on sustained firepower. So it's interesting. I, I can see each of these um, potentially being a good upgrade. I'm not quite sure where I want to spend my money yet, though. I might save up for another mission or two and see what is possible. Um, now, I do wonder, have I not been using my other weapon? I need to check that out. I thought that I uh, just needed to press one trigger, but wow. Yeah, maybe I haven't been using my second weapon this whole time. <laughs> in that case, I might actually upgrade one of the weapons here in a minute and see, but I want to look through all the other pieces first. Um, let's see, so what does a generator do? It changes recharge, supply, energy capacity, okay? And what about this guy? The weight is heavier, the energy load is higher, and I think that's the trick is I'm also gonna have to like manage the uh, load on things a bit better too so okay um, I don't know I'm thinking about saying I'll go with something like I'll buy something extra here maybe I really am just getting this stuff for the first time let's try out this how about a bazooka that sounds cool oh um, okay. And I assume that I have to then um, put that on. Let's see. Oh, I was using it. It was a pulse blade. Okay. Well, we'll try the bazooka instead and um, see what this looks like. Okay. So I was using the weapon. Yeah, and I need that. I think that I just did a little derpy there. Um, let's try replaying this mission one time just to see how it feels with our... Well, actually I want to do one more unique one because I was tempted to, but let's just do a brand new one. Alright, we're going to destroy artillery systems. Got a job for you, 621. This is an open call from the Balaam Group, one of the corporate forces occupying Rubicon. Attention, all independent mercenaries! This request comes from our affiliate, Dothum. The Rubicon Liberation Front has deployed Baos artillery throughout the contaminated city. The city itself has no strategic value, but we cannot allow them to hinder expansion of the Coral Survey. Show us your ambition. Destroy the Liberation Front's artillery! Bonus pay will be awarded for destroying their MTs. Want the enemy weakened? Consider it an opportunity to prove yourself. Impress us, mercenaries! <laughs> this guy's pretty excited. Okay. 
So destroy the targets, all the Rubicon Liberation Front artillery installations, extra rewards based on the number of enemies destroyed. Okay, now I've got my bazooka and it's cool I can still spin the model around, so that's nice. I like that. It's cool to get to look at the mech a little bit before jumping in. Okay, I guess we're hopping in. Let's see how this goes. The client doesn't care who does this job. As long as it gets done. Okay. Destroy all of the Rubicon Liberation Front's artillery placements. So it looks like I only have 77 rounds for the bazooka. I suppose 78 if it counts to one up top. So, yeah, let's see. Just kind of hopping around a little bit, see if any enemies show up. Yep, there they are. Okay, we'll just stick with the uh, assault rifle for now. We'll keep creeping in for a minute. Alright, this guy looks like a guy that needs a bazooka hit. <laughs> okay. Let's boost towards it. to work pretty well. Okay. We're clear here. Move on to the next nice. side, 621. Oh. There's another see here. Okay. Nice. I'm curious if um, the bazooka will be all I'll need for a while because it's Seemingly doing pretty well so far. It is slow though, I noticed, so I bet some enemies will be able to dodge it. I'm not even paying attention to the quest marker, like it should be. That yeah, guy's close. This map is huge. Alright. Where is our quest marker? We can land on top of this building and recharge. And this guy is going after me. I suppose I should take him out, huh? I can get out from underneath this bridge. <laughs> okay. Shots it takes with that. It takes a few more. Alright. Man, that UI is tiny, man. I can definitely see why people had some uh, complaints about it. But I'm sure they'll do something to improve it a bit. It's a style choice, but. Man, I think they definitely went a little extreme on it. Oh, look at that guy. He gotta snipe me. Here. 
smoke that one had its plating hit me. Oh, got to boost out of here. Oh, and he smacks. Tell you though. There we go. As long as you don't boost, you can stay up in the air pretty long. I'm noticing. That's it for this job, six two one. Okay. I felt like that mission was uh, fairly short too. Okay. Slowly getting the hang of Polly and saying it's so fast. Looks like every mission I'll be making money as long as I don't uh, get too damaged maybe. Okay, Jot invited to join Log Hunt, one of All Mine's mercenary support programs, discover and destroy targets marked with the Log Hunt, target icon, and obtain combat logs for submission. Click combat logs and improve your hunter class to receive reward parts from All Mind. I think I heard this is pretty important as far as getting good um, pieces together, so let's look in the parts shop and see what we have. One more time, a dual missile launcher. Impact two cell dual missile launcher developed by Furlong Dynamics traps targets in pincer trajectory, limiting evasive options. This model is suitable for use with lightweight builds and is capable of multi lock. Okay, so weight improvement but an energy load uh, increase. Unfortunately, we do get more damage um, with higher impact as well, but the rounds go down. So that's interesting. Okay, Let me look just a little bit more and see what else we have. So this would be, I guess, probably loading up on my um, L1 button. So what do we have? Pulse shields, more missiles. Interesting. So that one's 144. So it's the same unit, just on the left side. Okay, I see now. Standard Pulse Shield developed by Takagawa Harmonics, generally an unremarkable performance, but it's well balanced for its low energy footprint. Also offers a relatively long initial guard duration for ease of use. I wonder how the shields work in here, like if they're favorable or not. Okay, let's see. So I don't think I have any of these on right now. What about this one? Does this one improves system recovery? weight, energy load, but has a big dip in AP, attitude stability. Now, let's see. I think I press this to see. Um, about contextual health, resilience of the part. Okay, so I'm guessing that's when it breaks. Maximum load the ACS can support, higher the value, less likely the AC is to stagger. That's what was happening when I was getting hit, I was staggering. Okay, that's making more sense. So overall, this is nothing but down. I mean, system recovery, weight, and the load improve, I suppose. But I'm really kind of wanting something that improves a lot of things overall. If I'm interpreting these stats correctly, these just aren't really the right thing. Um, now the core, this looks like this could be an improvement overall. So this is a medium build, um, heavy. Okay. Hmm. Now overall, this looks like it could be an improvement. The weight goes up by a considerable amount, though. I might just end up getting that part, but let's look at some of the other things. 
Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed my streams, Wiz. Um, I've always had fun with you watching, and uh, it's been a good time, you know? Let's see what we can do here. So, the stability goes down, but the weight improves, energy load, firearms, specialization goes up. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm feeling it yet. I think right now, maybe the thing to do... Now this boost is good. That looks nice. That costs 72,000. Let me look just a little bit more before I decide. I'm just afraid I want to buy like the wrong thing and be upset. Let's see. Uh, I want to go to the left arm, I think is what I want. The left back unit. So, let's put on the pulse shield. And then we will do this booster. Hopefully this will keep me within range of everything. Okay. So let's go in here and we'll go to the left back unit. Put on the pulse shield. And let's find the booster. And we'll equip this. Okay. And... I assume eventually I can sell some of these parts, but I'm a little bit concerned with doing that this early in the game, just in case I need them a bit longer. As long as I have unlimited slots, I don't see a need to do it. Okay. Um, so let's try let's try replaying one of the missions, and then I'll probably call it a stream for the night. I just want to try these parts out. Um, let's do. So this was the first one. There's a battle log in it. Destroy artillery. Let's just do this one because it's so short. Okay. You've got ID. Now you need a rep. Oh, good. I can skip the things again. Nice. Main system activating combat mode. Okay. So now I should have a pulse shield. Ah, that's how it works. So it is a... You're going to stop dead in your tracks to use it kind of shield. Well, I can go fairly fast in the ground still, though. So maybe I'll get up real close to enemy and then bazooka the arm or something. Enemy attack! What I see! Looks like the Archivist group hired some muscle. An independent mercenary, huh? At least they didn't send the Vespers. Let's just see how it works. I'm gonna try to get the macro to hit me. Okay, it, it's working. He said, "Look to be working just fine." Maybe these enemies are too weak to uh, pierce it. So far, so good. Alright, so far, so good. Want to fall off? I was having a good run. Darn it. <laughs> okay. And that's just the way it goes. Let's see. Where are the enemies at? Oh, there they are. Nope. Oh, I'm going to do it again. Let me go ahead and restart that since I fell twice. We can do better. Uh, I think it's going to be kind of addictive trying to get a good high score on this. This feels almost like playing an arcade game or something with you know trying to do better each time. Imagine as I unlock new parts and get better, 
you know, um, skill and piloting in general. This could be really nice. Here we go. Send that down that way. But it is not enough because of the shield. Here we go. Better use our shield, son. Those guys. Really this time. Only a few left. Oh, I'll let that guy get some hits on me. Oh, and my missiles missed because I did not get enough elevation, I would suppose. Nice, okay. That is a few left. I got in see any those. I have to start shielding just a little bit here. Nice, okay. Let's go see about this guy over here. guys with the shields are giving me a harder time with the booster, or not the booster, but the uh, bazooka. Okay, there we go. Nice. The enemy MT squad has been eliminated. Okay, I feel like I did that a tiny bit faster than without the bazooka. Okay, uh, I got 49,180. Um, I wonder how that compared to my other rank run. I wonder if I've got like a history at least. Let's go see. So that'd be really cool if I could see overall um, my scores. Huh, I don't see anything though. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look like there is a uh, way to see things. So, hmm, I think I'd like to go ahead and do one morning mission, then I'll, I'll call it a day. Do one more. This is lunch day after all, so let's see. Destroy all Rubicon, Liberation, Front, Logistics, Helicopters, Extra Wars based on the number of enemies destroyed. So this is Destroy Helicopters. I think we're still in the tutorial mode type of you, bosses and enemies.
wonder if shields only go on the left side or if they can go on the right side too. Main system activating combat mode. I can see them building it only one way though to Commence reduce mission. the complications of uh, having to do everything on two sites. stronger than the previous ones I suppose. Alright, where's our quest marker? There it is. artillery units. See, there's that dodge I was saying, because of the bazooka being so slow. Looks like there's not really fall damage in this, so that's really nice. It's the UI for the missiles where it shows the four. It's giving me an idea of the lock on. Wow, that thing has a long energy weapon. I better watch out for that. Oh, shoot. That is something else. Holy moly. Is this thing also like a laser? What was that? Or use some cover or something. I think it's just jumping out of the way of all my uh, bazooka rounds. Yep, that's exactly what it's doing. I wonder if I have to have better luck with. Uh, oh, wow. I'll have to use another repair. Didn't expect all this. That's what I can do too, is I can boost out of the way of it. Doesn't seem to do the best when I'm nice and up in the air, so I think that's the key to this one. I can just shield against it. Oh, I didn't shield in time. I need to shoot and shield. I can't tell if it's recovering or what's going on here. I guess I would have figured it had been gone by now. AP at 30%. Ah, there we go. Check your markers, 621. Oh, well, buddy. No repair kits remaining. I don't think I'm making any damage on this one. Maybe my weapons aren't strong enough. Or is that the health bar? It's in the white. Ah, oh, it is. I see it now. Okay, I'm slowly learning the UI. I wish they'd explain the UI a little bit better because there's so many elements of it. But... 
Oh, that's not good. Let me go ahead and complete the mission. We'll do a replay against it when we have maybe a slightly different configuration. <laughs> okay. Now that I know a little bit about it, I want to do it one more time. Because that was, uh, it was a fun challenge, at the least. I think I'll be able to take out that enemy this now time. Asking for you by name. I'm going to just skip over a lot of the enemies and uh, get to that final area so that I can fight it with all my might. Main system. Activating combat mode. We have to get a new part or something too. Destroy the Rubicon Liberation Front transport choppers. We're under attack. Okay, now let's go to this one too. There, take it out. Last I laid feet! Defend our supply! Our comrades on the strider. Yeah, corporation. Okay. Now, is there a vertical launcher up here? I guess not. There we go. Get over to this area a lot more quickly. Take out these little guys so we don't have to worry about them. Very strong for now. Uh, it still got me with that little shotgun blast that it did. Oh, and it did a jump with that one. Looks like maybe the shield also just says partial damage mitigation to you. Nope. Oh. Should have dodged that one. Okay. Well, those warning messages are so short. You really gotta be on your toes. Ah! He got me. Fair and square. Wonder if I can cheese them around these corners. Huh? Oh, uh, it's uh pretty smart. He just staggered me and took out my repair kits. Okay. I need to get my missiles up and running on this guy too. Oh, I didn't shield again. We're not done here yet. Oh, there we go. That's what I gotta do. I gotta get behind it. Okay. Where is he? Did he go up higher? I 
think that's what's been happening is my bazooka's just not been ha hitting it. If I can get it hit, I'll get a stagger on it. There we go. Let's run away. <laughs> okay, now where did the enemy go? There it is. I wish that I had like a little radar. Give it. We'll look at the parts to see what's up. Yeah, yeah. I'm playing over an hour. I uh, didn't think I would, but it uh, it's kind of captivated me a little bit. <laughs> Let's look at parts real fast and see if I can boost myself a little bit. Thinking that the L back unit may not be helping me as much as I hope. So let's look at putting on this dual missile launcher and seeing if that's enough power to uh, get me over it. And what about anything else? Looks like I can't afford anything else. So let's back up and go back to AC design and we'll change out the back unit to the missile launcher. Okay, so that'll give me two sets of missile launchers. So maybe I'll be able to get enough DPS on there. Um, to make a difference. I don't think I want to do the handgun. That seems like a downgrade at this time. So let's try one more time. Now they're asking for Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, usually an hour is the sweet spot, but this is definitely a special occasion, so we'll give it a little more attention today. <laughs> there we go. Look at all the extra missiles with that. That's good. other next set. Okay, there's a little buddy again. Thank you. 
I'm gonna fly away for a second, try to get behind some cover. And uh, maybe we'll get a lock on him this time. There we go. Oh, didn't get the critical hit there. Now I'm just launching everything I can in it. <laughs> nice. I wonder if I got a log out of this. That was cool. Okay. Looks like there's no log for it. That's okay. We'll launch a bunch of missiles at these other guys, just for funsies. Looks like you got them all. Cool. That's it for this job, six two one. Return to base. Slowly figuring out the patterns and how to maneuver everything. Um, I'm pretty happy with the diversity of the game so far, like I mean, only an hour and a half in, I've already seen some crazy stuff. Ooh, I got a D rank, though. But I did get a log. Okay. Let's see what, if anything, that unlocked. Sell AC parts in your possession. Okay. Sold at purchase price. Okay, that's good, so we won't lose money. All right. It's like nothing to do at the moment. Um, is it AC design? Hmm. Actually not sure where it's going to show our stuff. So, oh, there's a photo mode too. Ah, cool. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. Okay. We'll get out of there and maybe with the log hunt, I'll have to go a little bit further to uh, unlock anything good here. All right, well, I think that's probably a great stopping point for today. We got a few missions in and uh, about at half an hour over. So we'll go ahead and roll credits to see if I can still work OBS here. <laughs> so thanks, thank you for watching. This has been STR Inc. You can follow me on Mastodon at STR Inc. on HackyTurn.io, on Twitch and YouTube at STR Inc. Thanks for watching and have a good day.